Thank you for the nice introduction, Pamela. Uh, I appreciate to be here uh, in this wonderful, beautiful country. This is uh, amazing. Uh, dear colleagues of uh, World uh, Biotech Congress, um, I'd like to introduce uh, my work with uh, the evaluation of uh, this um, microbiology techniques for detection of uh, pathogens in milk. And uh, we all know that clinical mastitis is a major health problem in, uh, on dairy farms. A goal of um, uh, mastitis management is for it to be cost effective. Cost effective, uh, narrow profit margins, uh, with a prudent of use of antimicrobials to concern uh, residuals and uh, resistance. To achieve this goal, a pathogen-based uh, management is a very good approach for doing that. Uh, and most commonly, uh, the di diagnostic is be done uh, with aerobic culture. And on-farm uh, culture, is uh, used as option like selective uh, or chromogenic media or uh, diagnostic laboratory with biochemistry or Melgitov. And we from uh, Quality Milk Production Services uh, are such a diagnostic lab. And I want to show you an example of what we see in terms of mastitis pathogens from clinical quarters uh, samples. This is uh, approximately 40,000 uh, samples from clinical quarters submitted to uh, quality milk production services uh, in the last year. And um, what I want uh, to show here is about one third of the samples that we ran uh, in the uh, diagnostic lab, it's uh, no growth uh, results. And about what quarter uh, is coliforms and also strap species, the most common uh, pathogen. Uh, some stephorios, our most common uh, contagious agent. About 6% of uh, CNS and other uh, pathogens like T. pyogenes and uh, East, etc. And I want to uh, paint out from here is uh, also that Pamela introduced that that 50% of cases would not require uh, treatment for um, based on some current protocols uh, for mastitis. For this project, we work with 628 uh, quarter samples from clinical cases submitted to QMPS. Randomly, 20 samples uh, were selected per day and recultured simultaneously on the test medias, blood agar, biplate, uh, triplate, and acumast, uh, and incubated for 24 hours. After 24 hours, Malditov, our gold standard test, uh, was uh, used for identification of microorganisms that has grown on the blood agar plate and recorded uh, the results. Also, acumast, biplate, triplate uh, were uh, read and recorded by trained and untrained uh, readers which I will soon explain how it was done. So based on what QMPS uh, collects uh, collect during the year of 2017, and to understand why we came up with 628 samples, we have made a, a screening of samples and pre-classification of samples to ensure a meaningful distribution of important mastitis pathogens. Uh, previously identified by Malditov, uh, and uh, the most common pathogens that we found are shown on this graph. Like, for example, um, 
no growth. It's about 120 uh, samples that uh, we found. And uh, so on, Stepharios, 55 step species, like the Falcos, and uh, some uh, other uh, pathogens. Uh, sensitivity and specificity uh, was calculated by Matt Kalk. Kappa agreement beyond chance was done by a graph pad in order to analyze the data. And this slide is the sum of what I have been talking so far, where abnormal, ab where abnormal milk was brought into each plate, incubated for 24 hours, and read by readers after that. The top one, it's the blogger, uh, blood agar plate, and was brought to the Maldi uh, for identification. By plate and triplate, and your left side of the screen, uh, have selective media, which is um, uh, the first one here is the by plate, where the agar, the blood agar, identify grand is capable of, of identifying gram positives, and McConkey is capable of uh, identifying identify gram negatives. Uh, triplate has uh, also uh, selective media, and the blood auger, the McConkey, and an extra section for MTKT where it can identify a strep and a strep-like species. On the right side of the screen, we can see the acumest, uh, where it has chromogenic media in uh, each section of that is uh, highlighted with numbers in here, okay? So the number one here can identify gram negatives. The number two can identify uh, streptococcus. And number three here can identify staphylococcus. The plates were interpreted independently by six untrained readers, which they were Cornell veter veterinary students and not specific specifically trained in milk microbiology. And as a source for interpretation, it was given the manufactured manuals provided by both AQMS and University of Minnesota. Our goal in here was to simulate average on-farm employee who wants to do milk microbiology. For trained reader, uh, only one was performing the readings uh, and has 20 years of experience in uh, milk micro microbiology. Readers had 30 minutes to record their observations and all, resorts, uh, all results were blindly compared with multi-top results. As I have mentioned before, HECUMAS has a chromogenic media, a unique system micro, uh, uh, of microorganism identification. According to the HECUMAS, the identif identification of organisms follow this uh, manual where section one, grand negatives with uh, their colors and specifically uh, the uh, the bacteria that each color can get. Streptococcus is the, sex, uh, the second section, and Staphylococcus, the <laughs> third section. Uh, and if there, is any, there isn't any growth, the answer should be no growth. Bike plate, on the other hand, has selective media, where if there isn't any growth, the answer is no growth. Following the, this flowchart, any growth that is present, um, it, uh, we can have it split in gram positives, gram negative, a combination of it, and according to the uh, University of Minnesota manual, if there, the, if there is hemolysis on the gram positive, it's going to be stephorous. Triplate is also selective media, as I said before, and due to its particularity of an extra selective media, the flow chart gives a little bit more, uh, where gram positives can be differentiated by comparison uh, with Stephorios, staff species or other non strep gram positives, and uh, strep or strep-like 
a species. <clears throat> the results that I will be focusing more today are these lists on this uh, slide based on what on-farm plates are capable of identifying and is commonly appearing in the farm. So the results, no growth, Stephorus, Steph species, Strep species, gram-negative, E. coli, and Klebsiella. So for no growth here, we can see that uh, it doesn't vary, uh, it, do it doesn't vary uh, much between the, the plates, okay? So specificity and sensitivity uh, for trained personnel is very uh, consistent, okay? And uh, for untrained personnel, we have a little bit of a lower sensitivity uh, for identifying uh, no growth. But according to uh, Kappa, the agreement beyond chance, uh, all the plates had a moderate uh, results. Trained readers would not have many false positives or false negatives with any of the three plates when diagnosed no growth. And these estimates are similar to the evaluation uh, that it's uh, in the liter literature. Uh, about the Stephorios, uh, we have uh, a high specificity for all uh, readers, okay? Uh, Biplate and triplate, uh, the trained personnel had higher sensitivity of identifying Stephorios uh, compared to the uh, untrained personnel, okay? So biplate had a very good uh, outcome for kappa uh, and moderate for untrained personnel or the readers, and kappa very good for triplate and moderate uh, for untrained personnel. Uh, what we can see here at the ACUMAS, untrained personnel had uh, higher sensitivity for uh, identifying Stephorios. But, uh, however, uh, the results for Kappa, it gives us uh, for both uh, as a good uh, outcome. Steph species do that uh, biplate cannot differentiate uh, gram positives. Uh, we have on the triplate uh, with high specificity for readers and a little bit lower uh, sensitivity for both readers, but we can see that uh, sensitivity was higher for trained uh, readers. Moderate uh, tri uh, on the triplate, fair for untrained per, uh, readers in the triplate, moderate tri for trained uh, readers on the acumens, and fair uh, for untrained uh, readers. For the strep species, it's the same case for the step species, uh, but with more specific uh, results for, uh, in, in the case of triplate, uh, acumens, like I said, there is a chromogenic media, so it's, uh, it, it's, it's possible to identify uh, streptococcus. Um, so we have high specificity again, uh, but Trained personnel had better results as well uh, reading a streptococcus species compared to untrained. So kappa, good for uh, trained and fair for uh, untrained in both cases. Grand negatives, uh, we have uh, high specificity and lower uh, sensitivity moderate for biplate and fair uh, for biplate and uh, uh, compared to trained and untrained. Triplate had both moderate uh, outcomes. Uh, trained personnel moderate uh, for acumast and poor uh, for uh, acumast. Talking about E. coli, both uh, selective medias cannot uh, dif uh, differentiate grand negatives. So uh, we can compare Acumas to Malditov uh, because uh, Acumas has uh, uh, how to identify the, the gram negative, the E. coli. Uh, so trained personnel had higher sensitivity uh, compared to the untrained, where moderate result was uh, for 
uh, trained personnel and untrained personnel had a poor outcome. Uh, so, uh, Klebsiella also, uh, sensitivity was uh, lower, uh, with, but trained personnel had higher uh, outcome. So, uh, fair and poor, uh, fair for uh, trained and poor for uh, untrained personnel. We came with the conclusion that without a good training in microbiology, perhaps using only the manual as, ins the manual as instructions, the chance of misleading uh, a diagnosis is, is higher. Also, the more specific the plate is, the more uh, training is necessary. We strongly agree that laboratory techniques remain the gold standard. Ease of use and accuracy are just a component of overall suitability of an on-farm diagnostic uh, technique, with cost being another important factor. Finally, choice of on-farm method depends on the individual farm goals. So I want the knowledge Cornell Resident Research Grant, Center of the Advanced uh, Technology Grant, uh, who are sponsoring this project, and also my team uh, from the Quality Milk Production Services. Thank you, and I, I'm sorry I am late. <laughs>